kids. Half, half of African Americans in the state of California, roughly half of Latino families, have no access to a checking account or an ATM. Things we take for granted. They don't have a check. What's cash. wrong with them? Yeah, a lot of communities have. A lot of whites have these problems. Oh, but so I just, that's not just black and Hispanic. No, but it, but, but I'm why giving you bring you up black and Hispanic because the magnitude is ominous. But why so many of them? It just happens to be the just, magnitude. That's the way God planned it. Not at all. Why did you shut the beaches in California during COVID? Yeah, I, th I think we all were working on information at the time. Uh, we had no basis of deeply understanding uh, the virus. I think they so did the same thing. So you didn't know anything, know did so why did you shut the beaches? States like Florida. Why did you shut down outdoor dining? Go ahead, go ahead. Science? It's good He's to see you, Adam. Based on so science, I, look, you didn't the end have? Of the, day, the debate tonight... It's not a debate. You shut I'm down looking outdoor forward dining, to the debate. you canceled Compare businesses. That was Gavin Newsom crumbling because he was actually asked a real question. In this case, it wasn't even by a so-called journalist, it was by a comedian. Here he is back in 2013 dismantling the argument being made by Newsom because he just asked very simple questions. Half, half of African Americans in the state of California, roughly half of Latino families, have no access to a checking account or an ATM. Things we take for granted. They don't have a checking account. What's wrong with them? And what, but what, well, because they don't, they don't have the resources to sock those things away. Well, why do we have them? Uh, a lot of different reasons, but, but roughly half those families don't. Where do they why end do up? Armenians have them? But where they end up is why? in check cashing places. But I want to know why those lenders, groups, why advantage. those two groups don't have access. Well, a lot of... It, just happens to be that we can so talk they're about flawed? This. No, they're hardly flawed, but they're struggling. Genetically Folks are making flawed. their word. Hardly, not ab absolutely. But okay, not. so but absolutely do not. Asians have this problem? I mean, it, a lot of communities have. A lot of whites have these problems. Oh, but so I just, that's not just black and Hispanic. No, but it, but, but I'm why giving you bring you up black and Hispanic because the magnitude is ominous. But why so many of them? It just happens to be the just, magnitude. That's the way God planned it. Not at all. Well, it what just, happened to them? There are a lot of issues, and with, it, that the communities are struggling. A lot why of new are they immigrants, struggling? A lot of, a lot of different reasons. Lack Hispanics of opportunity. Have been here. Blacks have been here longer than we've been here. Well, we, we, can, we can surmise well, What about the, Asians? The they people. were put in internment camps. Yeah, we, in fact, it all initiated out at San Francisco. And right. The Chinese Exclusion Act came so out they, of progressive are they the San check Francisco. Cash, are they the check cash? A lot, of, lot of Asians certainly do. Oh, so why don't you, con why don't you conclude because them? Because the only reason why is the magnitude. Of there's the so problem, many more. The magnitude and percentage But there's no way to figure out how that happened. Of Africa. We could talk about it. You know what I'm dealing with? I don't want to have a sociological debate. Uh, sure, I why deal would with you? Have, no. no, here's why. Why would you want to do that? Because the person from the Times wouldn't write good things about oh, you if God. you did that. No, no, that's not the case because I you want to deal want with to get reality. That. No, no, uh, no. You want to deal with reality. I want to I deal with the reality, reality of people is. that are struggling. People are suffering. I want to deal with the problems in why a pragmatic way. Why are they way. struggling I don't and want suffering? An idea. We can hold hands and surmise about all these underlying why are they, reasons. I don't want to do that. I want to know why they're struggling. Why are they struggling? A lot of folks are struggling because they can't find jobs. Why blacks and Hispanics? Why blacks and Hispanics? Across the board. Why? Okay, so everybody everybody Everybody's struggling. So uh, Asians are suffering uh, just as much as blacks. Um, the, the face of welfare is not an African-American family. Oh, so, so it's it's, it's Asian, a, Jewish, it's all of them. Uh, Caucasian, it's okay, a lot so of folks we're all in society. Struggling. A lot of folks are struggling. Okay. It's amazing how often politicians like Newsom will say things like that, dividing people by race when it's really more of a financial issue. And because they're used to getting zero pushback by the media or whoever's interviewing them, they truly have no idea how to defend their point. Not to mention that their point usually makes no sense, especially in the context of what she's trying to talk about race. As Carolla was trying to imply, the Asian immigrants do much better than native-born Americans in many cases, so saying that racism or white supremacy leads to these outcomes is just an outright lie. Back to the present day, before Newsom was questioned by Carolla, he gave a debate preview that aged like milk. Gov, uh, on the major question tonight of is Joe Biden up to the task? That has largely been defined by his opponent. I think they set too low a bar, frankly. But what do you think Joe Biden needs to show tonight? I mean, I, I think he shows it over and over again. He shows up in these big moments. One of the most effective debaters uh, in decades. You look back at his last many, many debates. He's a skilled debater. He knows how to show up at prime time. He knows how to show up on game day. I have all the confidence in the world uh, that when this next 90 minutes is up, uh, he'll come out uh, successful. He'll come out successfully defending his record and more importantly, painting a compelling vision for the future. After he was done correctly predicting that Biden would crush it in the debate, he was asked by Carolla why he shut down the beaches and why he shut down outdoor dining, among many other things, during COVID. 
His answer is pretty typical in terms of what you get from these COVID tyrants after the restrictions ended. They just say hindsight is 2020, and we had no idea, despite the fact that during that time period they were telling us they were following the science. Uh, Adam Carolla here. Uh, Governor, why did you shut the beaches in California during COVID? Yeah, I, th I think we all were working on information at the time. Uh, we had no basis of deeply understanding uh, the virus. I think they so did the same thing. So you didn't know anything, know so why'd you shut the beaches? States like Florida. If you didn't know anything, why'd you shut the beaches? Well, we didn't know. Yeah, because people were concerned early in the pandemic. Information was coming out as it relates to how it was transferred, uh, the disease. And people were cautious, trying to keep people alive. And I should say this: so I didn't let know them go in the sunshine and, and get vitamin California D and exercise. So you shut the beaches, okay? And you arrested a guy who was paddleboarding so in the bay. So health, wealth, and yeah, yeah any it's science good behind to see that? Adam and, any uh, science we're at all, all geniuses behind shutting outdoor outside. dining? Why would you shut down deep. outdoor dining? Go ahead, go science. ahead. Science. Good you, to see you, Adam. Based on so science, I, look, you didn't the have. The, day, the debate tonight. It's not a debate. You shut I'm down outdoor dining. I'm looking forward to the debate. You canceled businesses. Had tonight. nothing to do with science. All right, let him finish. Keep go ahead. All right, go ahead. Um, all this happened in the, with members of the Trump administration providing counsel uh, and providing recommendations to states like mine, uh, very much part of that Trump record as well. This was the paddleboarding arrest that Corolla had mentioned, where a man was arrested for the crime of paddleboarding by himself in the ocean. Could this be the first arrest made for surfing? Documented on, in, in history? Look at, now he's trying to bone, dude. <laughs> High speed pursuit. Uh oh, he's screwed. Now he's got this guy. This guy's coming in. Let's see the highway pursuit. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> he cut him off. Throw the throw the tax down. Pop the tires. Oh my god. Spray him with the hose. <laughs> Uh oh. Sheriff boat. Of course, California was not the only state or city that went full tyrant mode during COVID. Here are some of the greatest hits to help you relive the madness. And while you watch this, just remember the only reason they got away with these restrictions were because people complied. Across the country, at least 21 million kids now home from school. Venice Beach Skate Park is closed and now covered in sand after complaints from residents. People living nearby say groups have been gathering at the park without practicing proper social distancing. The city of Miami Beach is currently under a state of emergency. There's a curfew in effect. These extraordinary scenes have shocked local officials who say they've been overwhelmed by the number of revelers. There's little sign of social distancing and few people wearing masks. Fights have broken out and businesses have been forced to close down. At one point, the police shot pepper balls into the crowd, urging people to leave after an 8 p.m. curfew came into effect. A Lodi church now hit with another order to stop their Sunday gatherings. The San Joaquin County Public Health Officer ordering the facility to close. Tonight, elected officials taking unprecedented measures to keep people safe. Illinois and Ohio closing all bars and restaurants beginning tonight. California shutting down bars and wineries and asking those 65 and older to self-isolate. <laughs> in lockdown. We've seen closures of schools, churches here in the United States. Why is the CDC using that phrase social distancing and does it work? Well, it's basically figuring out ways to keep us away from each other. Governor Whitmer is standing by her initial decision not to include landscaping on the list of essential services. But now some local leaders are coming out and saying they won't try to stop businesses that are out mowing lawns. When everybody goes to a Lowe's or a Menards or a Home Depot, here's what they're going to see whole categories of merchandise that are going to be cordoned off and that you will be unable to buy. Things like gardening supplies, paint, 
carpeting, flooring, and furniture. Other new restrictions, no going back and forth between property you own in the state or vacation rentals. Friday afternoon, Governor Charlie Baker ordered all Bay Staters to wear face masks in public when social distancing is not possible. But as it finally feels like spring in Boston, large numbers of people are still heading out without any facial coverings. So what is non-essential travel? According to the California Department of Public Health, it's travel that is considered tourism or recreational in nature. And today, Governor Ralph Northam announced that there will be a curfew from midnight to 5 a.m. for most Virginians. Masks must now be worn outdoors if you can't stay six feet apart from others, and public gatherings are reduced from 20 people to 10. Some churches in Kentucky have adopted for drive through services, but the mayor says even that isn't considered safe social distancing. In addition to shutting down beaches and adjacent parking areas, officials have now closed all main access points for pedestrians, including a portion of Highway 101. This caught on tape shows a dad being taken into custody in front of his wife and six-year-old daughter. His crime? They were taking a break from quarantine and were tossing a ball around in a park in Brighton, Colorado. As people return to the boardwalk, New Jersey Governor Phil Murphy signs an executive order to require masks outside where social distancing is impossible. Everett is shutting down basketball courts and playgrounds to try to stop the spread of COVID-19.